At 923, the tropics are quiet for now, but hurricane season can be stressful and even confusing, especially for children. Now is a good time to have really important conversations with your children. Dr. Leanne Anadi is here with us this morning. She's a licensed psychologist at Auctioner Hospital for Children. Dr. Anadi, good, good morning and thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's first talk about why it's important to have these conversations with your children, your teenagers, and right now. It's better to prepare ahead of time. So going ahead and discussing factual information and plans will just help alleviate the anxiety of the unknown. Also, kids are pretty perceptive to their own parents and family members' stress, so they might be picking up on it, and it's just better to talk to them before that happens. And you and I were talking in the commercial break about uh, the way you talk to kids is important and it's different based on the child's age. So let's mm -hmm. first talk about the teenagers out there. They're the ones who are, you know, up right now. Well, they all are, but up right now and likely hearing more of what's, what we're saying on the news every single day. So what kind of conversation should you have with teenagers? Well, hopefully they're up right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, so before we talk about age, there's a simple method that we refer to as AIR ask, inform, reassure. So first, regardless of age, you're gonna ask, what do you know? What are your questions? What are your concerns? And that can make it a lot easier on the parent because usually it's not as scary as the parent is feeling. Uh, and then inform. This is the part that's gonna differ based on age. You wanna be accurate and honest, but you wanna be developmentally appropriate. So for children, you're gonna use more concrete terms such as, there's gonna be a lot of rain. It may get into the house. There's gonna be some wind. The power may go out, which means we don't have TV or lights. For older children, you can be more abstract. You can say, storms can be dangerous and we're gonna to need to evacuate. But with the littles, you wanna be more concrete so they can visualize it. And then you said the R, the R part of that air, right? Yes, reassure. You wanna reassure them. And there are a couple strategies to doing this just telling them they're safe. Most importantly, the parent remaining calm. Modeling calmness and staying calm around your children is going to help keep them calm. Give them activities where they feel empowered. Let them help with the preparedness kit. Can they get the batteries, flashlights, water? And then lastly, provide distractions games, music, dance parties, uh, letting them collect their favorite loveys to pack are all great ways to reassure them. And Dr. Nadi, the one other thing you want parents to remember is just to monitor their kids uh, always, but definitely through hurricane season for any signs of anxiety and what should they do if they are seeing those signs? So you wanna look for behavioral changes and these can be changes in mood where they're more irritable, moody, changes in sleep where they're sleeping too much or too little, mm. regressions in bedwetting or toileting on themselves during the day having low attention spans and refusing to leave parents. So that extra clinginess and then nightmares, headaches and stomach aches. Those are the big signs you wanna be looking for. If these come up, I would recommend first just having a direct conversation with them. Acknowledge it. I mm -hmm. see that you're experiencing this. Let's talk. If it continues after you talk and you make changes at home to support them, talk to your pediatrician. At Asher, our pediatricians are fantastic at helping with anxiety, and we have psychologists integrated into pediatrics to help children. And then if your child has a developmental delay, disability, or difference, you can reach out to the Bose Center for Child Development to receive supports. Well, Dr. Nadi, we're still very early on in hurricane season, so it's really important that uh, parents consider this and go ahead and have those conversations right now. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Good luck, everyone.